Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I am here. Oops, I'm just going to fix the camera quickly. I am here, Rita Wells, doing your reading caps for June. We're going to take a look and see what is happening in your life. Some predictions for June for caps. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your North Node. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, take a look around. I hope you enjoy yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe, my returning subscribers. Uh, welcome back. Love you guys for all your support and everything through all my transitions. Uh, let's take a look and see what is going on for CAPS. Uh, if you guys want to book a reading with me, um, all that info is down below. I don't open it to the public, but it's open for the month of June. I am taking readings. You'll have to email me. These two just popped out. There's a lot of prayer and a lot of, I feel, um, healing that you've been doing here you're setting proper boundaries in your life for june and you're really connecting to the divine here through very deep prayer there's a lot of transmutation of dark energy capricorn that's happening in your life but that's just what popped out let's see what is coming through for capricorn so again overall energy please for capricorn in june what's going on for capricorn in june oh, that came up pretty quick so, wow, look at this. This is really beautiful, Cap. So there is definitely um, a new vision that's coming to you. There's all of these different eyes that are here. You're seeing more clearly. You're becoming more expansive in your energy work, in your perspective, in your psychological knowing, in the way that you think. There's a lot of really um, expansion going on for you in June. I'm getting pulled to pull another one. I feel like financial money, I feel like, as you know, Caps, you are the GOAT, and as you are the GOAT, I feel financially and money is about to um, shift in your world. I'm almost seeing uh, mountains here in the back, that you've been climbing the mountains. I don't know why, but they're appearing to me that way intuitively, and so spirit souls bring up that you've walked many paths. If you know mountain goats, you know, they can stand on this little tiny ledge and not move. It's a little bit of stubbornness, but a very grounded energy for caps. But it's almost like you have almost reached your destination. And so spirit is bringing through that you've had to climb. You know, you've had to kind of climb these mountaintops and now you are above these trials and tribulations. So there's a lot of shift happening for you, especially with money, finances. If you've been working on a goal, if you've been starting a new platform and it hasn't you've been consistent or you've been really trying to stay consistent spirit is saying that it's definitely going to take off for you look at this this is you coming in june there's a lot of abundance coming for you financially work foundation so uh there's a definitely a new vibration that's coming in it's moving you into a heart space place within yourself heart of love heart of knowing yourself heart of um relationships foundation and you're walking that's because you've gone through a transformation you see this butterfly here you've been walking away what doesn't serve you you're just forging ahead you don't care what you're leaving behind you're like i'm moving forward so spirit is saying you know coming in june is to continue with that transformation uh capricorn continue being happy in yourself continue being yourself this i love this i love that she's curvy as well it's almost that you know you're accepting all aspects of your beauty inside and out you're just being yourself and i feel that you're also being recognized i feel like even in this card someone may be recognizing you we're going to take a look at love as well but you are also being recognized for the work that you have been doing let's see what else is coming up for capricorns please what else is coming up for capricorns for june please spirit in the month sorry <laughs> of June, hello, um, what's going on for Capricorns in regards to money and foundation and financial abundance and their mission and their path of spirit. Yeah. Yeah, you're going, you're coming home, Caps, you're coming home. So what I'm really seeing here is like a new doorway is open. It's been difficult, okay? Chopping wood can be very difficult. It takes a lot of strength, it takes a lot of endurance, it takes focus, it takes precision, it takes rep rep repetition is what I'm hearing. So you have been slamming that sledgehammer down is what I'm seeing. You've been doing that hard work. You've climbed those mountains. So new doorways are opening up and you're ready to clean up anything that you have had in the past. It's also sick. So Spirit is saying that's a physical manifestation um, of things to come. Um, you're coming home to something within yourself. I feel there's a real nice balancing energy that's happening for you, Capricorns. I'm feeling that you recognize where your home is. You recognize uh, what feels good for you. You recognize, even if it's a person that I'm feeling that you know 
what that feeling of home is like. You know who your person is. Okay, so we're going to pull into love because that's coming in a little bit. Um, because I, I'm, I keep feeling like this person is watching you. Like this is you climbing your mountains. But if you are on a twin flame journey, I'm feeling this person is also watching you climb those mountains and the obstacles. It's almost like you're getting a recognition that your person is recognizing that of the hard work you've actually done in your life um, on a very deep level because you're coming home and when you come home that that includes a lot of different types of relationships you've been healing with your family your children your friends the important people in your life um you're looking at uh opening new doorways into your financial world you're looking at uh honoring your gifts and maybe doing something a little bit different in the world and you're going to be fair this is karmic justice is how i see it too uh, there's a fortune cookie and an egg on, on this card, which I've never noticed before. So this is about your good luck. And there's an owl on her head too. Sorry, I haven't really looked at this card. And your good luck. Let me see if I can see. I can't see what that tag says. I think it says faith. But it's really hard for me to see just with my plain eyes. But there's like a, an egg here and there's a fortune cookie and she's got an owl on her head. So you've gained the wisdom this is also an 11 card. You've gained the wisdom, Capricorn, to balance your new beginnings, transformation, and birthing something new with your with karma and with your abundance that you're meant to have in this life. Because of the wisdom, you're allowing the wise old owl of spirit and God to lead you. And so whatever has been unjust in your life, it's coming back for karmic justice. Let's see what doorways are opening up for you, Capricorn. So there's a lot of abundance that's coming through here for you. There's a lot of, um, yeah, just, oh, wow. Breaking barriers popped up with, wow, we're going to keep these. Look at this, Capricorn, breaking barriers. So you're definitely breaking through some really difficult times. The light of God is shining through. So this is, this is coming through that um, spirit is recognizing everything that you've been doing. You are going beyond your limitations now. It says, I'm expanding beyond limitations. It's like a, what I'm seeing spirit is like you've broken that ceiling, you know. Sometimes you only earn to a certain capacity of what your lineage has been doing. I'm seeing a lot of ancestral healing that you've been doing. So spirit is saying you're about to break that ceiling. That ceiling, there is no ceiling, right? That's what I'm kind of getting with this energy here <sighs> why were they showing me the light the light that was oh they want me to pull this one of here how expansive her mind is and then they're saying this is the same thank you spirit of showing that to me they were pulling me to these cards of how expansive this is so the light of spirit is it's there is no limitation for you now okay because you've come home to yourself you've healed your your healing relationships you're about to receive really big okay so those dreams that you've been wanting spirit is saying that path has started for you capricorn that path is now in motion is now manifesting and you may have been seeing some changes already you may have had to do some really difficult moves in your life you may have had to step set some very strong boundaries in your life but spirit is saying yep this is the time. It's a brand new path. It's a brand new vibration. This is breaking the ceiling. You've done your work. There's a receiving of angels. The spirit wants you to realize that you can, are ready to be in a place of receiving because you've done the action work. Okay. This is about trusting your intuition. There's a new portal key gateway that is opening up for you. It's almost like they're showing me in the, um, the Island time cards. I'm just going to pull them out. With the key the key someone has the key to your heart i don't know why i thought i could just go in here and just find it i had a feeling that it would just pop keys on a ring um that somebody is holding the key to your heart and it's in this deck let's just try it. let's see if it pops out <laughs> No, but there's an ascending that's happening. I was, I just felt, I was seeing the image in those decks. So I wanted to see if it was going to come out, but sometimes that happens with me. Um, but there's somebody who holds the key or you've, and, and, and that could be this person that's watching you. If you feel that you've been someone stalking you or someone from the past year, twin flame or something, there's something about that, that we're going to get into love in a minute. But this friend is also saying that this is also that you've unlocked a doorway into the garden of Eden. Do you see how all of the leaves have been fallen this path is dead now you're now able to move into like the garden of eden this is like a beautiful aspect of your new life that's coming forward to you wow let's pull some tarot so some really amazing energies coming through here um spirit is saying you may not be seeing like the physical manifestations of your money and your foundation and your mission right now but it's definitely an unlocking something has clicked unlocked something is definitely um 
ready to manifest. And they're saying this last half of your life, of your life, of your path, your life in this, in 2021 is going to be completely different than it has been in all the years prior. So just be aware that coming from June, Spirit is saying it's now your age of Aquarius is completely starting to manifest. You've been working on the energies in order to bring this down. They're very, they're very happy with what you've been doing, Capricorn. Let's see what else is coming up in the tarot for you. This is my deck. It's called the Cosmic Tarot. They're not for sale yet, but if you do like them, I will be selling them shortly. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, please, for June. You've come through a difficult time. I'm not going to lie. You had to come to a place of um, in your life where you had to really stand your ground and defend what you were building to defend your belief systems. So if it seems that, you know, people thought you were crazy for leaving a job or taking a job somewhere else or going into a field that you had no idea what you were getting yourself into or you made certain investments and people are like, that's like, why are you investing in that? Or you sold the house, whatever you did, people were talking about it and you served your ground because you knew that this was going to bring in a new foundation of building something. And as cold as it was and as alone as it was that you were in it, you knew what you had to do. And spirit is saying that that's that's closing off cycles of betrayal. You're not working, looking at the past. Okay. The 10 of swords in reverse with the eight of pentacles in reverse. You're not looking to the past anymore. You've closed that cycle. You're about to rise. You're rising now and you're not going to look at it anymore. You're not focusing on it. You're not, um, going to work on anything of this old vibration. That's why this card is here of why you've like decided completely to walk away. You've already hit that transformation. Okay. So you're walking into the new path. What else for Capricorn, please? Yeah, they're saying just rest and heal. This healing, there's still a little patience that has to be had here come June because you have to get into the receiving mode. And receiving mode is just chilling out, relaxing, doing what, what you know you need to do, you know, but not worrying about stuff and allowing spirit. It's like you're going for the ride here, right? Just go for the ride. They want me to pull some more here. Yeah, you've been you've been in a hard place, Cap. So this is some promising news for you. You've, you've done... Um, a lot of work here. Aries had something similar. If you have Aries in your chart, go look at their reading as well. Yeah, you're not dealing with your planning now, okay? But you've been sitting at the Four of Cups, right? When is this going to happen? Well, it's happening, Capricorn. Closing off the Nine of Cups energy is breaking of the ceiling, okay? This is with the Seven of Swords. So this is a new planning. Um, this card, when I created the Seven of Swords, it's a manipulative behavior, trying to persuade somebody or do something but if she's going to get out of the situation she has to be quick on her feet she has to think how am i going to avoid the situation um she's she looks a little scared but she's also thinking she's also like hmm i'm not sure about this how do i get out of the situation so you have to be a little bit maneuvering and thinking and analytical to get out of certain situations and, and that's what you're doing to plan for your future because you're no longer doing this nine of cups energy all right, you're no longer doing this. This is old uh, vibration. Nine of Cups is the, you know, the comfort zone, the the ego stuff, the, the nice home, the house. And not that you don't get those things in the Ten of Cups, but you're ready for a brand new path. You want the Ten of Cups. You want the spiritual relationship. You want the union, all of that. So let's take a look at your, uh, your uh, connection here because that's coming up. Somebody's watching you, Cap, all right? Somebody is watching you. Let's take a look. What is going on for Capricorn in love, please? What is going on for Capricorn in love in their love life for June, please? So stay in course with your finances and whatnot. The, the abundance is about to show up. What's going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June, please? With their love life. Yeah, your ending cycles, the world. All right, so that's 21. That's a three. So that's a form of Christ consciousness that's coming in too. Um, <laughs> wait on me. Somebody wants you to wait on them because you are their shining star. Okay, so three, three, okay, um, and an eight. Okay, but there's another three there. So you got two threes to Christ consciousness. As I was saying that, okay, because you have the world here, right? Um, and they're saying here, somebody wants you to wait on them. You are a shining star. You're following your destiny. You're showing your, you're starting on your plan. Um, you may have had doubts in this connection. Okay. But there's definitely something that somebody is watching you. Somebody's planning on coming towards you. Let's just clarify some of this. What is this wait on me spirit with an ending of a cycle? Someone has been stuck. 
since they've ended something. Okay, someone's going through a transformation here. Somebody that you are connected to, I feel this is a union or somebody that you've been questioning, hasn't been able to move because they're in a deep place of transformation. So they're asking you to wait. They've been completely stuck here. Um, the doubts that have been happening in this connection has caused a lot of conflict, okay? Oh, I have this. <laughs> Sometimes my decks got mixed up, but the Seven of Wands came out. This is about letting go of defenses of what's been built up. The, this person that, that is watching you, um, I'm going to pull a little bit more, has to break down the foundations and things that and the, let go of their defenses in regards to uh, come towards you. And it's going to cause a lot of conflict in their life. And that's why there's been a lot of doubt in this situation in love. Um, I am going to pull the eye on my time here because I'm getting a strong... I keep feeling like someone's watching spirit. What is going on for Capricorn in love? For June, please. What? Who is this person that I feel is watching them? I'm getting like it's not creepy vibes, <laughs> but it's like I see you, and I feel it's a masculine because there's a masculine feminine here. So pick, I was picking that up right away. So if I need to go with what's happening, um, what is going on with Capricorn and love, please? For June, what's going for Capricorn for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? See, it is. Could be soulmate twin flame but it's a soulmate connection here okay there's an addiction okay we have addiction which is codependency hand of cards taking a leap of faith so somebody needs to end some type of codependency to take a leap of faith towards you it's a soulmate type of connection and it's caused separation so it could be that if it's your twin flame they they allowed an addictive behavior to pull them away it was a soulmate connection and caused the separation and in other terms it's like this is a high level soulmate and they were pulled out of your connection in order uh, from by an actual addiction in order to take a chance with you but they're in a deep place of transformation they've been watching you i've been really feeling that so come in june there may be some massive transformation that's coming through for capricorn can you please uh give us some clarification on what's the next steps in love for capricorn coming in june yeah a decision has been made to end some type of commitment third party could be or a marriage or any type of traditional ways um this is going to be something non-traditional and there's been a lot of fear of change. So, so what I'm getting for love right now, we have Hierophant, Two of Wands and the Tower in reverse. What I'm getting right now um, is that it's, it's a huge point of transformation. And so you are balancing things out in your physical world right now, Capricorn. You're gaining an understanding in the new vibration of where your path is taking you. You're getting a deeper understanding of where you need to move. You're not allowing anything of this old vibration to bother you anyway. So um, even if someone is watching you, you're understanding that they're still going through something. And you they want you to wait. But of course, you don't wait on anybody. If somebody's meant for you, it's going to happen. You just keep doing you. Let's see what else for Capricorn, please. What other healing messages for Capricorn that you'd like to bring here, please, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. So I feel like Spirit wants you to just keep doing what you've been doing. Um, I think June is going to show some tangibility in regards to your life and what's happening there. Let's see what's going on with finances, the new path for Capricorn. What messages would you like to bring up for that? And what is going to come up in regards to love, in regards to that. So let's see what we have here. So in regards to finances and everything, um, you're shape-shifting, okay? Things are shifting very quickly. We have the clouds here. So things are shifting very fast. Connect to music. You may be very creative and connect to music that way. But music eases a lot of the transformational energies that are coming through. So Spirit is like, get into that place of receiving in June. Keep being able to receive from your angels, the signs from your angels. Allow that intuition to guide you. You're breaking new barriers. You're entering new terrain, okay? You are using, you got to trust that intuition, right? Because you're, you're moving, you've unlocked the door. You've unlocked something, Capricorn. So this is about allowing the shape shifting to happen, even if it looks a little strange and it's a little weird. It's like trusting those vibrations and the music will allow you to ease into that. You're going to get a lot of signs through music. I feel your spirit guides are really bringing through um, a lot of um, messages through the music to help you to move into this new vibration so you can relax into it into your um <laughs> into your love life quite a few popped out okay look how many popped out 
I've got quite a few. The first one is lightning. There's a lot of power in your love life that's coming, okay? A lot of power and a promise of something that was meant to happen. So somebody, the June is uh, going to be very powerful. I don't know if this person's coming back, but whatever transformation is happening, you're definitely going to feel it. There is going to be a massive awakening. There is a promise that was promised to you in this lifetime by spirit. This is a higher connection, twin flame soulmate, high level soulmate, okay? Spirit wants you to continue to be in this place of vulnerability. That's that opening to receive. So a lot of things coming to you, uh, Capricorn, okay? You have to be able to be like the sunflower. They need a lot of attention. They need a lot of light. They need a lot of care. And they need to be in the sun. And so Spirit wants you to be in the sun and to allow these changes to happen. You've been breaking a lot of what I was saying. Again, I was feeling, you know, you were breaking a lot of ancestral um habits and curses and and things from your family um for quite a little bit now and um this is why you're going to be reaping the benefits come in june because your ancestors are with you with this wisdom and this transformation so they want you to really keep your balance you've opened this doorway up right that good luck and everything is coming you don't have to do anything else i know when we get into a place of healing and doing hard work especially for caps you work hard but you're coming home to self so you can rest when you're in your home you can be as you want you can you know what spirits bring up you know like <laughs> This is me. I always walk around the house in skimpy things. Like I like the less clothes, the best, the better, right? So you know, if someone comes knocking on the door, I'm like, shit, I gotta go put a bra on. I gotta go freaking to put some clothes on. Like who the hell is at my door? It's because you are feeling very, um, very comfortable in yourself, right? You're feeling very <laughs> at home with yourself. And anyone that comes in, you're like, oh damn, I have to present myself in a proper way, or you know. And so that's what I'm getting. It's like you need to be in that place of effortless in your love life. Come, you know, this in in this coming month, um, so that things can flow uh, beautifully for you. Okay, let's get some final messages here for Capricorn. Some final messages here for Capricorn, please. So final messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What other final messages do you have here for Capricorn Spirit? What final messages do you have here for Capricorn? What final messages do you have here for Capricorn? <laughs> the crumbling. What are you clinging to? Wow, this is amazing. Look at that. Okay, that's like that keyhole. Look at this, guys. Okay. You've cracked something open. You have felt that. You have opened something. You're just seeing, you're like, oh, can I walk through that? Keep going, Caps. You've cracked something open. You've unlocked the secret door, okay? That's what I'm going to call this reading. You've unlocked the secret passageway that a lot of people haven't done. So you got to allow it to crumble, okay? What are you clinging to? You can't cling anymore. you got to walk away from what is not serving you. You've got to keep moving forward okay um yeah let's see what spirit animal is coming through for you so just keep going capricorn do not uh, allow things to deter you off your path no matter how dark you know what you're doing you need to face it you know your power stand strong in that power because not a lot of people can crack that that see how thick this wall is that you've had to you know and i love the abundance on the other side look at that with the lightning, with the power, this is also a spirit saying, like, could be a twin flame reunion or a soulmate reunion. And um, look at the abundance on the inside of this keyhole. Like, <laughs> you're entering uncharted territory. The Garden of Eden is what I'm hearing, okay? El Dorado. Um, so really beautiful stuff. What final messages for Capricorn, please? The Otter. Okay, well, wow. The Otter... It's mate for life, okay? So this is one half of a pair, okay? So Spirit is saying things are going to come in pairs for you. You know how things come in threes? This is about, um, thank you, Spirit, uh, otter, <laughs> otter's pair mate for life. Spirit is saying it's about a sacred union, but it's also about doing things in twos and then allowing God. Doing one way and then another way, the left, the right, and then the truth, right? So it's like that third energy that's coming into your life. The cobra is a very sacred animal okay this is the kundalini has been rising in you so allow it to continue to rise this is ancient wisdom we saw the snake with your ancestors you are your ancestors are with you they are guiding you they are helping you with this ancient wisdom okay we also have the moth to a flame it's about massive transformation okay the moth flies to the light 
it can't help but go towards the light. So just realize your power in the light, no matter how dark things are, you have the power to do this, okay? Believe in yourself that you really do. And this is white buffalo. Buffalo is very sacred animal. The white buffalo woman, um, I would look her up. She is very potent, beautiful energy of higher consciousness. So the buffalo is a sacred animal. You are on a sacred path. This doorway could not be unlocked for you, Capricorn, without the hard work that you've been doing. So just keep going and... Um, Keep allowing and resting into it and things are going to be great in June. You're going to see the physical manifestation start shifting. There's going to be an unfolding. I definitely see it for you. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this, guys. It really helps my channel to grow. I'm trying to get more views. Please do so. If you want to book a reading, all of that info is down below. Please email me. You can't book through my website and we can set you up for June. And I'm sending you so much love, guys. Would love to hear what you think about this. Bye.